Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini concert. I am so excited to get another chance to spend the evening with you and this is brought to you with special love from a nonprofit organization called Hearing the Call. You can visit them and find more about them in the link below or you can visit their website at www.hearingthecall.org. They are an amazing group of people that help underprivileged all around the world with getting the hearing health care that they need. And we were excited to partner up so that we could do this mini concert while featuring interpretation by the amazing Amber Galloway, who is a known music interpreter, and also to have captions down below for those of you who are needing them. So let's jump on in with some music. I'll talk a little bit more about that organization later on in the show. But this first song is called Heart on Fire. And it's just about knowing that you're separated from the ones that you're loving and wishing that you could be next to them, but you just can't at this moment and you're wanting time to hurry up so you can finally be back together. And I think that we all can kind of understand that feeling a little bit. But when I wrote the song, this wasn't going on. So it's kind of funny to go backwards. So yeah. Wake me up when it's over. Move through time till I am in your arms. Wake me up when it's over. Before I lose my Sitting here, it's been a while Since I've seen your face A long and smile Please leave a light on for me I'm just down the road The weather is changing I'm leaving the cold Dreaming of the way you look at me A mile high and I can barely breathe Please leave a light on for me, I'm just down the road The weather is changing, I'm going home up when it's all over. Move through time till I am in your arms. Wake me up when it's all over. Before I lose my Working till the sun 
don't shine. Looking forward to happy times. Blue by you. I'm going back one day. God will make me blue by you. Where the folks are fine and the world's mine. I'm blue by you. song is called Release Me and if you haven't yet seen I made a music video with some incredible friends of mine and we filmed it in Canada and I would love for you to check it out but the whole song it includes sign language and it's so near and dear to my heart in such a beautiful way to express myself and, ex and express anybody's self really but what I wanted to always show when I do these concerts is ASL interpretation because what is being portrayed isn't the English translation. I think that's a lot of people's misunderstanding. Uh, and I wanted to just explain a couple of the signs that you will see because they're important to the meaning of the song. So the song chorus has a repeating factor. Oh, release me, please, release me, oh, please, release me, let me go. But the actual ASL translation is, get out of my heart, release me, get out of my heart. Then the next one is, get out of my head. And then the last one is, get away from me, get out of me. And so you can have so much of a depth of meaning because ASL can go beyond just English words and it dives into just so many layers of expression. So when I'm on stage, normally when I'm on stage and I get to sing and sign at the same time, it just makes me feel like I can finally say exactly what I mean and exactly how I feel. So if you are interested in learning some sign language, I would love for you to take the time to watch Amber taking it away on this song because she does an incredible job. And I would love to invite you to check out the music video so that you can see the entire 
thing from the eyes of a person who's stuck in one room, which I think we all can kind of feel like right now. I'm going to switch it up and play this next one for you on the piano. For those of you who know me and who have come to my concerts, you know that the relationship that I have with the piano is strained at best. It was the last class that I was allowed to take as a music major, and I've always kind of felt like it was a painful reminder of the past life that I used to have. And over the last two years, because of love and encouragement of other people and this drive to move past my fears and not have them hold me back anymore i forced myself to start playing a song on the piano and i do that not because i think that i'm an incredible pianist because i'm not but i will improve um i do it because of you i want you to see that it's not easy I want you to know that this is a barrier of my life that I have smacked into multiple times, but because of your pushing and your encouragement and your love, I've been able to express myself in a whole new way and to take a little bit more control 
over the fear that has been controlling my life. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Community is so important. And I will say that every day for the rest of my life till the day that I die, community changes everything. So thank you for being a part of my community and for me to be a part of yours. But this is, this is a song that kind of says how I felt a lot during the time of my life where I had to redefine who I was. And I feel like that's a little bit still now, but um, I've learned not to feel this way so much. That song has been a little bit of a theme in my past, but um, a really cool story about that song more recently is when I went to the live shows on America's Got Talent, I was so nervous and I was, I was absolutely petrified. And I was singing this song to myself 
because I just felt completely out of place and I was struggling and there was a contestant on the show called Puddles and I gave him the sign name Puddles because he, he cries, Puddles Pity Party. And he started singing it too. And so it just kind of reminded me again that I wasn't alone. And so I wanted to say that if that's how you're feeling and if, if this quarantine has been a struggle for you, know that you're not alone and that there's so many amazing people out there who are ready to cheer you on and to connect with you. Um, and in, in honor of moving forward, I wanted to invite you, if you wanted to, to join me on singing or playing Try. For me, this song has been such a part of my life and part of my heart. It's merely saying that the world kind of got away from me and I don't know which way is up anymore, but I'm sick and tired of letting my life pass me by while I just give up on myself. If I would just be willing to get up off the floor one more time and try. So if you have a ukulele or an instrument, go ahead and grab it, I'll wait. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna wait. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna start this, this bad boy. So the first chord is D, or sorry, G, then we're going to move to D. We're going to settle on A minor. So that is the chord progression for the entire verse, and it repeats about four times. times then we're going to go into the chorus which is a variation of C so if you put your your finger on C like you're gonna start what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually slide down to the fifth fret and that's the note I'm singing then we're gonna slide to the second fret and then G again fifth fret bottom string Slide to the second fret, bottom string still, to a G. Then we're going to resolve, so we're going to do the D A minor. Yeah, so the chorus is. part of the song that comes up is the bridge and uh, we'll get there when we get there. Let's just start with the verses and the choruses and we'll stop when we get to the bridge. You ready? Start with that G. D, A minor. G, D, A minor. Oh. 
bridge. So let's learn this part. So we're already on A minor. We're going to stay there. That's our first chord. There is no one. We're going to go to G. For me to blame. Back to A minor. Because I know. Now we're going to do a little bit of a quick guy. We're going to do G, D, A minor. The only thing in my way is me, is D. <laughs> so let's do that bridge one more time, starting on E minor. There is no one to G for me to play. Back to A minor. Cause I know G, D, A minor. G, D, A minor. To D. Killing it. Ready to give it a real go? Back on E minor. There is no one for me to play. Cause I know the only thing in my way is me. I don't live the way I want to. That whole picture never came into view. But I'm tired of getting the day so I will try so I will try if I would try And for those of you who don't have an instrument, you still did amazing. <laughs> and I have one more song that I want to play for you. But before I do that, I wanted to again thank Hearing the Call. You can look them up on the link below or at www.hearingthecall.org. I have been connected with several people of this organization, including my audiologist, um, Mary Thorpe. Love you, Mary. Um, and they have a special place in my heart because of just the excitement to make a difference. And for those of you who do not have any hearing barriers of your life, you may not know how expensive hearing aids or implants or speech therapy or even just, you know, counseling and tutoring to catch up for school. There's so much of a disconnect between my world and the way that it used to be that it's lovely to know that there are organizations out there who are happy and willing to break down financial barriers to help those that need it the most. So I would truly encourage you to look them up. They've get to travel to really cool places, remote areas around the world to visit people who may have never even known that audiologists exist. And even though I don't have hearing aids and I don't have a cochlear implant, getting your hearing tested and making sure that you're healthy and safe is, is always something that you should do. So thank you to all of the medical professionals out there. Thank you to the audiologists, but thank you to just everybody who is out there helping to keep us safe and healthy and work so hard. And I do feel are under underappreciated and the first people that we yell at when things go wrong. Um, and thank you to everybody who is out there being socially conscious and loving on their families from a distance and doing what they can to 
slow this progression down so that we can someday in the short future say hello in person. I can't wait to give a hug. That's something I'm looking forward to the most. So from my virtual hearts and my virtual hugs to you, um, thank you for joining me for this virtual concert. And I will finish with a song called I Can't Imagine, which is how I feel. so much sending you all my love you can check out more about my music at mandyharveymusic.com or follow me on social media mandy harvey you'll find me out there and thank you to hearing the call and i hope that i get to have another mini concert with you soon and thank you to amber for being such a rock star and interpreting tonight's performance stay safe <laughs>